Hello, my name is Ravi Vij. I'm uh, from My Cancer Haven, and today I have with me one of our key thought leaders in multiple myeloma, Dr. Karina Patel, who's associate professor in lymphoma and myeloma at uh, UT uh, MD Anderson uh, Cancer Center in Houston, Texas. Uh, welcome, Karina. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's mine. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, talk today about uh, how uh, CAR T's are going to move into earlier lines of treatment, like any uh, treatment that we get in any kind of cancer, not only myeloma, the journey starts in a later line of therapy, but they're most uh, effective uh, usually when they move into earlier lines of treatment. So I think that CAR T's are going to have the same journey. Uh, so I think what I would like to first uh, let our patient audience know is, you know, what are CAR T's and then we uh, where they are today. And then we'll talk about uh, what you are doing uh, in moving these into earlier lines of treatment. So uh, what are CAR T's uh, for the general audience? Yeah. CAR, uh, it's kind of um, the CARS, right? Uh, it's an acronym, of course, for something called chimeric antigen receptor. And really the way I describe it is that our T cells normally um, are able to be in our body because they have receptors in there and they know exactly what they're looking for. And a car is a receptor we've made to put into those T cells that now will recognize myeloma. So it's a flag on the myeloma cells that we make this receptor for, put it into the T cells, grow those T cells. And now there's more of them to go directly after that myeloma. Um, so you're really giving them night vision. Um, so they know exactly what, what they need to go kill. Okay, so I understand that there are two of them now on the market, and uh, uh, a 